Damn you, Corona! The last film I seen in theatres was Bloodshot. Vin Diesel is my last cinematic experience. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to Movies That Matter with the Viking and 2020 hasn't been that good. It really hasn't. You know, I hope this year will just end. You know, let's just go move to 2021. Let's start January next month and let's just forget about this year. But we can't do that. The coronavirus has come. It's not fully gone. Looks like it's coming back to China as well. And... Um, then of course all the protests in America and look just hasn't been too fun and now the movie's end hasn't really improved either looks like there's going to be new release dates for Warner Brothers films they are rescheduling their whole um, content that's coming out that was supposed to come out and Wonder Woman has been moved again Godzilla vs King Kong will not come out this year will come out 2021 The Matrix has been moved Keanu Reeves coming back and Christopher Nolan's highly anticipated Tenant has been moved also. Let's have a look at these new release dates. So how bad are these release dates? Well, Tenant was supposed to come out in July. It's just been moved back a few days to July 31st, 2020. Wonder Woman, which was supposed to come out in June this month, which then was moved to August, is now moved to October 2nd, 2020. And they're starting the marketing campaign for that month already godzilla versus king or king con con uh, which i can't wait for um may 21st 2020 the matrix 4 april 1st 2022 so the matrix pushed back nearly a full year it was supposed to come out next year in 2021 and that means then that we won't get to see john wick until 2023 then that's disappointing i'm a huge john wick fan i'm a huge keanu reeves fan um, we should wait another full year for The Matrix and then another year for John Wick, which is terrible. Godzilla vs. Khan, I was really looking forward to. I enjoyed Khan Skull Island. The 2014 Godzilla, I've yet to go back and revisit it, but when I watched it first, I was kind of kind of under... Maybe I was underappreciated as a movie fan of what the director was trying to do. Maybe I should go back and rewatch that, but I did enjoy Godzilla King of Monsters. That was really, really good. Wonder Woman, of course, big DC fan, looking forward to that. And I was hoping it would come out in August, but I also predicted that it would be moved again back in April when the new release date came out. I said, I don't think it's going to meet June. I think it's going to be moved again. I don't think it's going to or going to meet August. I think it's going to be moved. And now it's going to come out in October. But I'm still not fully convinced over that either. This virus, if it comes back for a second wave or whatever's going on in the world, I don't know if people are going to rush out to theaters. And Wonder Woman could end up being a 2021 movie. Tenant, Christopher Nolan, probably going to be an unbelievable film. He, he never makes a bad picture. Tenant is going to come out in July 31st, which I actually don't think that's going to hit that release date either. I think it could be, that could take the October Wonder Woman release date. I don't know yet. It's hard to, to actually know what's going to happen, but these are the new release dates and everything has been pushed back. But Warner Brothers are going to be testing the waters. For the 10th year anniversary, of course, a Christopher Nolan classic, Inception will re-release on July 17th and this is probably to test the waters and see will people actually go back to theaters on the 31st for Tenant. This is probably going to be taking kind of a, a poll, taking kind of numbers to see how many people are actually willing to go back. So Inception for its 10th year anniversary, they're releasing that in America. Of course here we don't really do things like that. The cinemas are still closed here and there's, there's talk of it opening up back in September maybe but I don't know yet. So in America they do these kind of anniversary films and re-release films regularly but here they don't. But Inception they're probably just seeing how many people would actually come out to see Tenant. But they're also saying that July 17th could be kind of a special thing to go back and see Inception because there might be sneak peeks for the upcoming films. So Brandon Davis at comicbook.com he said hashtag the Batman hashtag the Suicide Squad and more Warner Brothers movies might drop trailers on July 17th with the Inception re-release and that would make sense if you tease that you're going to get these new trailers then it could get people into the tears to go see Inception and go look at these sneak peeks and then maybe they'll come back to watch Tenant then 
if we see a sneak peek of Tenet also. But to see the first look, kind of special first look at the Batman and the Suicide Squad, it would make sense why Matt Reeves or James Gunn haven't dropped any uh, more pictures or any um, trailers or anything like that about their upcoming films because probably they were waiting for this date to try and tease fans to come back to theaters. But I'm all for seeing a Batman look. They've only shot 25% of that film, so I don't know exactly what they could show us. Maybe it could be just a little small behind the scenes thing, who knows? And I'm sure the Suicide Squad trailer is ready to go or nearly ready. I'm looking forward to seeing what James Dunn, James Gunn does with kind of the leash taken off him at DC with these DC characters. Of course, at Disney and Marvel, you'll be stuck with a formula kind of thing. We have to meet and tick boxes at Warner Brothers you're allowed to do kind of even more kind of pull in, in terms of see the Joker film that they did and just different kind of more leeway with things and we might not even get back to theaters as soon as we think look at this Beijing stops plans to reopen movie theaters and sports events due to surge in COVID-19 cases now they were trying to get their economy back up and it was back up and running and they were planning sports and get the movies back on but now this is hit again and is, is this talk, is, is this signs of a of a second wave of this virus coming across Europe and then the US just like it did originally you know so who's to say there won't be a second wave of this COVID and these films could be all pushed back even more and might not get to see one of them whatsoever. So they're going to have to try and contain that very quickly in, in Beijing. But as we know, this virus can spread very quickly and across all the globe and affect people. I know in Brazil, it, it's it's kind of bad as well. Uh, here, it's kind of clearing up a little bit, but there's still still signs. I, I, my only fear is that people are, are kind of not taking the restrictions seriously anymore because it's kind of easing a bit. They're going back out. They're getting into large groups. They're going to shopping markets and things like that. So... I, and then of course the po protests in the US it's just I hope this doesn't come back and affects everyone again because that looks like the way it's going to go people kind of have to be cautious still but if it's if it's resurging again in Beijing and it's affecting the movie theater releases then it's not a good sign you know we thought we were kind of past the best part of this virus and then if this affects the movies going forward I'm going to lose my mind I suppose we'll just have to wait and see but I don't think these movies dates are set in stone yet the virus could hit again or other things could happen we're still only in june you know so hopefully everything stays clear everyone stays healthy and no virus resurges but you never know especially with these kind of pandemics i hope we don't get what we got previously but anyway guys let me know what you think of these new release dates are you sad or are you well, i don't know if you can be happy as a movie fan with these new release dates but yeah it is disappointing but tenant is around the corner then wonder woman hopefully they stick to those dates and then we'll just have to try and enjoy 2021 as best as we can as i said the last film i saw in theaters was bloodshot i actually like bloodshot but i don't want that to be the last film i ever see in theaters i'd love to watch tenant wonder woman the matrix and etc in theaters when they open back up but hopefully this fire stays away hopefully people want to go back to theaters hopefully everything goes back right to some extent that we get to see movies again but that's all we want to do we're movie fans and that's what we love doing but let me know your thoughts guys in the comments don't forget to like subscribe come follow all my social media and just come and talk to me about movies that's what we love doing you'll find it all in the description until next time guys stay positive